hi everyone what's up welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Brianna and I am in a chatty chatty mood and so I thought why not spend the next few days together it is Wednesday afternoon February 1st so got a lot done for work this morning and just had like a busier morning and just like getting myself together so I thought let's just intro the vlog in the afternoon I will say though this morning I was in a little bit of like a 10 15 minute rut kind of I felt like when I was trying to intro the vlog this morning a few times I am so grateful that it's super sunny out and it's so beautiful however I feel like sometimes when it's direct sunlight and I'm not super tan and it's the winter I don't feel super confident now that's not to say that that's an all the time thing but like I just didn't feel super confident this morning I felt like I looked like Casper the sickly ghost and I just wasn't in a good space so I gave myself the morning I focus on other things and I'm feeling much better but this is just your reminder that every time a youtuber or an influencer on Instagram or anybody like picks up their camera they don't have perfect days every day and they definitely don't feel beautiful or about themselves every single day I woke up this morning and was like wow she's looking like Casper the ghost and she looks ill and she's got dark circles under her eyes and she's got dirty hair but here we are, we're feeling better. Gave myself three affirmations this morning just to say it out loud and speak it into the universe. Excited to spend the next few days together. What's on the docket? The first thing on the docket is we need to organize our bedroom and the closet in the hallway. Disaster, like truly disaster, dumpster fire. We've had packages come in over the last two or three weeks. I was away, we built the dresser, we've had family in and out, we've had things to do, so we just have not had any time, I feel like, to be thoughtful and put things away. So that's definitely something that we're doing. The second thing is, I'm actually gonna show you how I organize my calendar for the month, so we can do that together as well in this vlog, and we have some packages to unbox. Everything else will just come also in the vlog. Subscribe, stick around. I'm in a chatty mood, it's about 1.10. I took my lunch about like, 25 35 minutes ago. I do have a meeting at 1 30 Taking a sip of my water because I was thirsty. Yeah, that's how we got going on. So I have a busier afternoon today I have a meeting from 1 30 to 2 2 to 2 30 2 30 to 3 and then 3 30 to 4 so hopefully around 4 o'clock I'll be able to just like veg and chill a little bit but it is I don't even know what time it is I don't have my phone I am gonna probably try to utilize the next like 10 ish 15 minutes I talked about this in my coffee chat the other day which was just take 10 or 15 minutes during the day to do things that are your household items that will make you feel better in the future so there's just like a ton of crap on the floor over here to my left there's stuff everywhere in this bedroom but it's something that I can visibly see and I know will only take me 10 or 15 minutes to put away. So we're going to organize that and put that all away. And then I need to sit down at my desk because I have a ton to get done later on today. It's about 4 o'clock. I'm pretty much finished up with work for the day. But this closet behind me is what we are about to tackle. I feel like I had a good system. I've got some bins. But like you can even see there's just like... A ton of shit just everywhere and it's really hard for me to see things I just got some new stuff my hair stuff needs to get pulled out of here so we are going to tackle this closet I can show and link all the organization that I end up using I think I have some extra bins that I need to use in here just for like extra stuff but it's just like it's a hot mess the makeup sections a hot mess it just needs more organization so I'll even like zoom you in I don't even know if you want to be zoomed in but let me show you so here's everything up there is perfect like the bins are great then we get down to mine and Corey's shelf here those are all new like makeup y product stuff that needs to get put away this shelf is just an absolute mess and then even the one underneath it is a mess too so let's organize this closet reorganized I ended up doing up here just a little bit more to get things a little bit more flush moving some things into our bins these are like our extra bins like we have extra face wash spray for the bathroom chapstick my medicine for my eczema just all that stuff is extra up here and then our medicine is in there and then you come down here these are things that I could use on a day-to-day -day basis but I 
don't like in theory mousse is not something that needs to go up there because it's open but I don't use it every day we have our steamer and then this is Corey's like everyday use stuff too his lotion contacts back here is just some extra toothpaste stuff his hair cream and then I reorganized my makeup shelf so this plastic thing comes out and all my makeup lives on there got my thing for brushes lint roller hand sanitizers, Corey's like extra grooming stuff like tail nail clippers and that stuff. And then down here, this is like, I call this the Disney bucket. So this has two of our plastic containers in it that have like Ziploc containers that will have the Tums, the first aid kit, shout wipes, wipe, Clorox wipes, all that stuff, extra tissues, mini tissues in our rain jacket, and then this is all my hair stuff, my two different size curling irons, blow dryer brush, regular blow dryer straightener, and all of that, and then down here, I didn't really do much to, like really at all, because it's just our towels, and then a face mask, and some COVID tests. But here is the aftermath of what needed to come out of the closet, that needs to go in the top drawer of here, and all this in the bedroom. So, this is going to be my next project, I'm going to get all this organized, and at least for now, in the top drawer of my dresser. I very quickly changed my mind on the idea of doing my dresser. The reason being is that I actually need to order the flat jewelry trays and I still have not done that from Amazon. And I have this bag that I can show you all from Target. It's just like, I bought a lot of these little clear organizers for like hair stuff, hair clips, stupid kind of stuff. But the problem is, is that I can't really organize that drawer until I actually have other stuff here to be able to organize it and do it. So I think this will maybe be a project for tomorrow or Friday. I'm going to order my flat Amazon jewelry organizers now. But because the lighting is nice, why don't we unbox my packages instead? Alrighty, let's take a look at some of these shoes. First up, they are all from Nike, but these are the ones I am most excited about. So I do have these in two sizes, a seven and a seven and a half, because I wasn't actually sure which size I would be. But I have seen these for months, and I've just been so excited to buy them. And they're constantly out in my size, or the size I think I might need, but... We found them and I absolutely love them. So they're just a little bit bright, but it's just a white Nike SB with this brown tannish line and a black leather Nike swoosh. I love them. I bought these in the low, not like low, I don't mean low rise, but they do have them in a platform and the platform ones just came back in stock. So I'm actually going to order those two before I decide which ones I want to keep because I like the flat. I think the flat are cute. Those are the ones I originally wanted, but I do think that the platform could be kind of fun and different, so I would like to give those a try. Sorry for the crazy boxes, but on to the next pair as I just keep like going down and going back up. I ended up getting a new pair of the Nike Air Max 270s. I have people that like rave about these shoes, so I am so excited to see them. Okay, they look a little bit more like blue I guess than I thought in the back well no I guess no I guess not so I wanted these in like a more you can't really see this is the thing the lighting is great for me but like when you're trying to show off a product it's like kind of dark oh there we go let's see okay so this is giving the color perfect it's almost like a brown taupey gray color i love how neutral they are i feel like they'll go with so many things that i have either just black or white they're coming off a little bit blue but they're not blue they definitely are more of like a lighter brown taupey color i love them i got these in a seven and a half so i'm hoping that those fit this next pair is the pair that i am the most excited about now i don't think they're gonna fit because i ordered a seven and i just feel like my foot fits better in a seven and a half but they didn't have them in that size and I just like really wanted to try them so bad to see if I loved them and I have always hated, 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 hated the white Nike Air Forces. I don't know what it is. I'm sorry to the girls that love them. I just like can't get into them. I don't like them. I like my Stan Smiths much, much, much better. These came out on, I think it was finish line and I just fell in love with them. You'll see a color pattern trend here, but I, absolutely love these i'm trying to see if we can get a little bit more in the color they're like this again that taupey brown neutral girl sneaker some people might absolutely hate these i love these like i love them so much and i hope that they fit they're a size seven sometimes my foot like is just a little bit too long like i always joke with my family that i have something called finger toes like my toes are just long 
and they're like fingers I don't know it's just what we have as like a running joke in my family but I'm gonna try those on well, let's talk about the shoes so I just tried on the Air Force ones like the beige they are so cute like I just I want to keep them so bad I'll even like get down to my look cool girl hey how are you but they are so cute like I absolutely love them the only problem is is that I really feel like I need the seven and a half like the where they fit and they're fine I feel like my toe is just at the front and I just feel like the seven and a half would be better like they really are so cute I just think ultimately that I'm gonna need to see if I can find them in a seven and a half because where they're cute and I like them I just feel like they're a little bit too small so I was gonna do stand up and like show everyone the shoes but that's not working sorry the camera's like I don't know why it's being funny and crooked but these are so cute absolutely love these but like what's with the sock like are they just making these so that I can't wear like this is an ankle sock like I'm sorry if I stand up like let me show you if I stand up and just have a long pant on but like what is that if I wear these with shorts like hello um that's like what, what what is that so these are also gonna be a maybe because I just feel like I don't want to wear them and like hello how are you my sock be hanging out like that so we're gonna see if maybe I put on like a no-show or something if these will work better because man do I love them but the sock is just not the vibe they're adorable but I the sock is just foolish so let's try on the other Nikes ding 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 we have a winner the SB's fit perfect in the seven and a half the first pair of shoes that I feel like has fit perfect. I feel like these are so cute. I feel like they fit perfect. They're so adorable. I am still going to order the platform ones because I want to see if I like them better, but they are so comfortable. They're not doing like the funny sock thing and I just really like them. I think that they're so cute. I'm very happy with them. These are a definite keep. Look how cute. Look at this angle. Fab. Fab, fab. Absolutely love them. I'm so happy with them. I am going to order the platform ones just to see which one I like if I am going to keep one pair. And then I think what I'm going to do is hold on to the running, like, more athletic looking sneaker because I do really love them. I just want to see if I am sold on them in the next, like, two or three days, like, if I'm excited to reach for them when I see them. And the other Air Force ones need to go back. I need to see if I can find them in a seven and a half because they do not fit in the seven. Like, they're just too small, which is fine. So, that's it. I'm gonna put my little shoes back in the box and order the other ones. And then it is time for Corey and I to cook dinner. My mom is actually running some errands tonight, so it's just me and Corey. So, we'll see you guys at dinner. Good morning, everyone. Well, not morning. Happy afternoon. Corey, you coming in? Oh. I thought okay. you were going to come and hang. Nope. <laughs> I don't want to hang out with you. Here, here comes Corey. But happy Thursday. It is 12.07. We have had a busy morning. Mm -hmm. Got a few things done. What did we do last night? The last thing that I vlogged was trying on my you, shoes. You uh, um, edited a video. I did. I edited my 2023 Reset and Goals video last night. We watched an episode of The Challenge. I watched YouTube while you were editing. Yep. And that was oh. It. But we did have the best thing for dinner. Steak tacos. We have not had tacos since we moved back into my mom's. And at the last minute yesterday, my mom ended up deciding to go out for dinner last night. So it was just me and Corey. And we had some, like, alone time. And mm. I was like, do you want to do a taco night for dinner? And Corey said... Yes. Absolutely. It is, like I said before, 12.08. We're just going to sit down and have some lunch right now. I have a little bit of a busier afternoon. I am hoping, though, I ordered some jewelry organizers to do the dresser today, so I'm hoping we can do that together. And that's it. I don't know what my mom wants to do for dinner. I told her I was in the mood for baked fish again. Oh. And she was like, baked fish again? But like, I'm in the mood for that. It's so good. It's Brown's world, and we're all living in it. People. And everyone's like just living in it. <laughs> Totally fine. And the other thing is wedding update. We have the document in our inbox and the wedding planner that we're working with, or not wedding planner, the owner that we're working with at our winery venue for 2024 just emailed us back a ton of different stuff. If you've had a wedding before, maybe you have, maybe you have not, comment down below. Is six hours the perfect time for ceremony through the party and the dancing and the dinner or seven hours? Is seven hours too long? We're thinking six and a half hours because we want to do a late night bite, but would love some thought because we're thinking about six and a half hours. We thought seven. The woman at the w winery said that that's probably too long, which I kind of agree with, but six hours seems short. Mm -hmm. I mean, what do you think? I mean, I think six hours is the pristine, like perfect middleman there. 
Six hours. Six and a half. Oh, you said six hours. I mean six and a half. I was gonna say I, I think six hours is kind of short. Six and a half. I feel like the because we're deciding to do a late night bite. I think we need more time for people to feel like they can just sit and enjoy the wedding mm -hmm. rather than like eating and leaving, mm -hmm. eating and leaving. So we're gonna have some lunch. We're both in. A, I'm in a great mood. You were today. insanely theatrical throughout this whole, whole thing. thing. You know why though? Like I'm like just I, sitting here. I'll be honest, I'm not paying attention to half the words that you're saying because I'm just, just focused me. on your movement. I slept so good last night. You woke up in such a good mood. I woke up like, like best mood of ever. This happens only like twice a year, people. So, so you all get me for the day. But I just feel like I'm in a really good mood today, and I'm just I slept really good. I wasn't feeling super great about the way I looked this morning, which mm. we all go through we had, that. We had a moment. We had a moment. We're past the moment. Now we're having lunch. But we're beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. We're gonna have some lunch now. It is now 2.40. Corey and I had some lunch, hung out, came back into the office. We both had meetings at 1.15 and 1.30, so it's now 2.40. We were both in just a few things a little bit early on in the afternoon. And of course, I cracked my afternoon diet soda. But now what I thought we could do is I have about 20 minutes before my next meeting, so I thought I could use this next 20 minutes a little strategically, and I thought that I would use the next 20 minutes to walk you through my planning, my calendar, and how I plan my calendar out for the month. So this is January, I don't need it anymore. So let's plan out my February calendar together. So here is my calendar. This is for the month of February. I always bring down just my little tray of pens and highlighters and just fun colors and stuff because what I'll do is I will use my phone and I'll open the just calendar on my phone. And what I'll do is just try to look at the dates and see what kind of bullets I have on here and what I know I need to do for the month. And then I just get it organized on my calendar so that if my mom comes into the office or Corey needs to figure out like what we're doing, if Corey has a haircut one night, I have a nail appointment, we have plans, whatever that might be, we can utilize the calendar. So let's go through the calendar together. So I just went ahead and did our entire February calendar. It's not perfect, but it kind of is what it is because every time I do it, I wish I did something else, but it is what it is. So basically what I have written down here is I picked a color, which was like a beigey pinky tone. It's coming up a little bit more brown on camera. But basically what I do is, is everything that we have something, I'll just highlight and then write inside. So like we're going to the Wolf Pack on Friday at seven. I am in Denver this entire week for work. Corey and I are getting our taxes done in Rhode Island on the 17th. I do need to write that we'll be in Rhode Island this weekend and that we have this day off, but just wanted to get this on the calendar to start and then we leave for Florida at 4 30 on the 21st so we're actually going to work from the airport in the afternoon and then this whole entire time we will be in Florida so what I'm thinking about doing is actually bringing this calendar with me to Florida my dad doesn't have one and this will be just really nice for me and Corey to try to stay as organized as possible so just wanted to share how I organize my calendar with just our things for the month I also need to write in here a Corey color of what things he needs to to do I totally forgot to like separate the colors but it is what it is so like I'll be able to put like my nail appointments on here Corey's haircut appointments and all that stuff so I also like to put that on our calendar as well hello happy Friday happy Friday we are not at home and we are at the Hartford Wolf Pack because my BFF Rachel her fiance plays for the Hartford Wolf Pack so we decided to spend our brutally freezing cold <laughs> Negative one degree night. By going outside. Break. Going outside. There's a fight. We're watching. Who's fighting? Not Zach. Not, Not Zach. Zach. Not our BFF. But Zach scored tonight. Woo! That was great. Yeah. It was a good goal. It was good. It was confident. It was, he was confident. Sorry for the noise. Sorry for the quick break. The music will copyright me if I put music over that's not from like epidemic Also it's sound. insanely loud and you won't hear anything. And you so. won't hear anything but today was a good day. We both had extremely busy days. It was just like a wild Friday which we both I feel like we never have. I never have a busy Friday and today I work no. straight through. Yeah even Rachel was saying that she had a busy Friday too. With a, I don't, if you don't know Rachel and I work together but we both had busy Fridays today which we normally don't have so nice to just kind of hang, chill out and now we're just going to enjoy the rest of the night. 
watching the hockey game. I'll report back when we get home, but it is, yeah, I'm like not freezing in here as it's cold as I thought. I mean, it's an ice rink, it's chilly. Yeah. yeah, but it's like not frigidly freezing. No, it's not terrible. And I'll show you yeah. all my third, is he back in? Yeah. Okay, and Zach's back in, so gotta go, but I'll show you me and Rachel's third quarter snack. Period. period. Third period. I, I, you know what I was gonna say? I was gonna Half? say period, no. <laughs> I was gonna say period, and I was like, it's the quarter, but quarter is four. So on that note, I'll see you in my third court period. Oh my God. <laughs> Snack comes in. And just like that, we are home. The game was so fun. It was so nice to see Zach play. He scored. It's always nice to spend quality time with Rachel. Corey's over here laid up in bed as well. And we are both just ready for bed. I ended up not showing what my snack is during the third period of the game. I always get their hot, like not hot spicy, but just like hot temperature. They like flash fry french fries and they're really crispy and I always get it with a side of like the plastic fake cheese. It's just so good, cheese fry, just love it. But thank you all so much for spending the last few days with me. I know it was a little bit chaotic, but so much fun at the same time. So make sure you subscribe and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.